Hello, YouTube fam. How y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel while I'm running our review, fam. How you doing? How you feeling? Um, I went out to Ross um, Saturday, you know, me and my wife, and we went around. We went to Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, Five Below. Yeah, those particular stores, fam, and we went to a lot of them. And the funny thing about them is some places you are finding things and some you're not. And I wanted to explain some things, you know, because, you know, I did found some stuff. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Where is it to make some sense? Uh, kind of separate stuff for that. Man, look, we ain't going to do none of that. We just going to talk. We just going to go straight into the pickups because that's what it is. That's what this channel is about. First things first from Ross. Overkill. Seven ninety nine, gigantic figure. You know, a lot of people were saying, "Hey, look, they're starting to get new stuff." As I was talking to the guy um, that works there, he said, "We're not getting a lot of new stuff. We're getting stuff that was left over from Christmas that was still in the warehouse." The thing is, he said, "You know, a lot of people don't understand man hours. Man hours. If you do not have the man hours, you cannot put the stuff out." Cannot be shipped out. It was a lot of stuff shipped out. But look, you run out of space. You run out of time. And you run out of the money that the people could actually do. So next thing we got is Masters of the Universe. This, I think, is Origins. Uh, we got Snake Face. Most gruesome of the Snake Man Warriors. And this one is... Blah, 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 phone, hey, man. man, I looked at this, man. And you remember back in the day, you remember this was the actual line that actually killed He-Man? He-Man was doing really good. Then they brought out the Snake Man, and it really messed it up because everything focused on the Snake Man, man. But you know what? I would love to get that Snake Teela. I see a lot of people who got it already. Uh, it's a lot of cool um, action figures on the back of here, man. And I love the way how he twists and do all type of stuff. I might put them up there next to a Snake Mountain. Man, that's cool. We have Dragon Blast the Skeletor. Man, this guy's on point, though. I remember having this as a child. I think I had the other one as well. You know, when I was younger, man. You know, that's the thing about these toys and these pickups, man. That's the nostalgia factor, man. I buy toys based on nostalgia, man. You know, again. Uh, they also had this at the Ross that I hadn't been to in a while. Uh, this is a Universal Monster, the Bride of Frankenstein. Now, these are my first time seeing these figures, man. Seriously, this was my first time seeing it. And when I seen it, I wanted to pick it up. My wife was like, what's the appeal of this? I said, these figures are normally at Target and places like that or Walmart for like 30 bucks. I said to get it for damn near under 10, basically $8.99 under 10. That's a good deal, fam. And she was like, yeah, that really is a good deal. If you look at it like that. Uh, let's see where we got to go. Uh, let's go here. Give me a second. Why I make a mess? <laughs> Next thing we found was Skelegod. This was at Ross. Dude, $5.99, come on, man. That's a no-brainer, Skelegod. You know, go with the Motu. I think I got them somewhere, man, but you know what? Uh, the one that I got, um, it's like the feet are, like, jacked up a little bit. You know, over a period of time, things get kind of um, off a little bit. And that came from Ross as well. So, Ross had some fans, man, just to be honest. Then I went to Five Below. We have the Sorceress, Motu Masterverse. I mean, Revelations, this one is, the Sorceress. One thing that I love about this figure, I love the colors. Shit, I think I got like two or three of these figures, so I don't know. Man, you know, my whole thing is I have a plan on what to do with these. So, all the ones that were on back, they were found at Five Below, all the ones. So, I ended up picking up the whole wave, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, next one we got, we got Pig Man. I mean, Pig Head. You know, <laughs> which is kind of cool. 
rulers of the sun, man, sun man, pig head. Dude, to me, that's actually awesome, man. And these figures were $5. You know, uh, we got Shadow Weaver. Princess of Power. Dude, I'm like, man, I could be all in. You know, I could find, you know, things to do with all this stuff because I already got plans for everything. Uh, we got many faces. Motu, New Eternia. Dude, I was just like, man, okay, let's 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 make a run for it. So like all the figures on the back. And do you know I actually paid damn near an arm and a leg for the original many faces that I bought, man. And I'm like, man, to see them for five dollars, it really makes you feel some kind of way. This is why a lot of people who have some of this stuff is actually still buying some of it because they're like five dollars, man. Come on, man. Uh, we found Noroto. Noroto Chopin. Funko Pop. Number 181. He looks badass. Dude, when I picked him up, I was like, oh, okay, cool. That's cool. Then, uh, we were at Mariano's. We ended up getting some Hot Wheel cars. Four. Uh... The first one is a Ford GT40, black and white, with the number eight on it. We got the McLaren, the McLaren Solstice, I mean Solus GT McLaren, McLaren Solus GT. I don't know why am I saying this wrong. This car is black and white. At first, you know, when I seen the new for 23, because I know somebody will be like, Unk, that car didn't come out this year. It was in the damn bin. It was what it was, fam. You know, like a lot of times, a lot of people don't understand what Hot Wheels are. And I'm going to explain to you. The thing with Hot Wheels, a lot of people, oh, well, you know, Hot Wheels, you know, they don't keep no old ones. What they do is send them back. No, they don't. You can't send all this shit back. What happens is it goes in the back. And if it goes in the back, that means they're going to make sure, you know, like later on, they're just going to put them out when the new ones come. Just how it works. Uh, we got one of five, the Batmobile. Batman versus Superman. You remember this one? But this one has blue rims and a blue windshield. So that's pretty cool, fam. So the thing was, I got two of those. You know, I usually get two of the Batmobiles, man. I had all kind of cards, but, you know, they were four for five. So my thing is, I don't want to break the bank. You know, fun is fun. But, again, at the end of the day, man, you know, I was just thinking about how I'm going to do everything, what I want to do. Next thing, found a pair of shoes at Marshall's, I think. Uh, the shoes came from, from Marshall's. Um, New Balance. You know, I love New Balance. Tried them on, they're really comfortable. Um, it's a great shoe, man. I love the color, it's different. I love colorful shoes. I love things that actually pop. You know, they had a good selection of New Balance and they actually had a good selection of Reebok. Uh, one thing about New Balance, no matter where you get, they're gonna be a little pricey. It's a comfortable shoe. It's basically made for uh, walking or running. Uh, so. Yeah, you know, um, those were the things that I picked up, man. Um, I picked up a lot of candy. We picked up outfits for the grandbaby. Uh, just a whole bunch of stuff, man. We were just having a good time. Uh, went shopping, bought lots of stuff. It's what it is. This is what happens when you're collecting. You know, also did the taxes, you know, because I was worried about them because, uh but one thing about having a toy channel, you're able to write your toys off. If you didn't know that, you're able to write off your gas. You go into the toy stores to get this stuff. You know, shipping and all of that, taxes, you know, all of that. The lighting, you know, your internet, your um, phone, because you got to use all this stuff, man. That's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. Then you're able to write off your equipment and things like that. You know, it's like... We expect something worse. Dude, you do what you do. 
at the end of the day, that's what I'm talking about. You got to do what you got to do. I actually enjoy the hobby, man. Because I was worried about a lot of other stuff that I had going on, man. That's why I went kind of silent for a minute. Had to pray on a lot of stuff, man. Because, you know, it was a lot of stuff that was on my heart. And, you know, shit got real for a minute. You know, like, life it gets... Life never stops being life, man. And if you don't know what that means, it just sounds like I'm saying life twice. Life never stops being life. It's real. Dude, that's the thing that I talk about to people. Shit gets real. And you just got to get realer. But that's just me talking. But to later, fam, thank you for watching. Peace out.